For a day of real family fun, there's just nothing like the footy. At Melbourne's home of football, VFL Park, the whole family can really enjoy all the thrills and excitement of Australia's own game. And at VFL Park, everything's laid on with clean modern facilities and ample parking. Whichever side you follow, you'll see all the action Saturday at the home of football, VFL Park. On Tuesday night, the conclusion to the last convertible. Now that the war is over, they must start to rebuild their lives. But first, certain truths about themselves must be faced, no matter how painful. The last convertible, concluding Tuesday night at 8.30. We go to VFL Park now for the second semi-final. Hawthorne starting with Polkinghorn and McCarthy on the bench. Leaving out more Shields and Byrne. North Melbourne elected to start with Cowton and Hodgman on their interchange bench for the second semi. And indeed the second semi-final clash at VFL Park today. Once again drew together the two arch rivals of the 70s in Hawthorne and North Melbourne. Surprisingly, in view of their success in that decade, neither team has a large following and that's certainly explaining the poor crowd at the game of just over 41,000 fans. Further to their dominance of the 70s, the two sides have clashed 11 times in finals with the Hawks winning seven and the Kangaroos four. They previously met in the first semi-final of last year with Hawthorne successful by 52 points, while this year their first round meetings have resulted in a win apiece. North, of course, were refreshed by the rest of last week. Hawthorne had to pull out all stops to shake off Fitzroy by four points. And we pick up play tonight at the nine-minute mark of the second quarter. And with me in the commentary box is Lou Richards. It bounces beautifully for him too. And the dual Brownlow medalist is off and running. The ball down over the half forward line. Punched away by O'Halloran. Beautiful play by Mew as he taps it back there to Green. But there's a smother up now. Pushed out again by Jonas over to Simmerbush. A fumble going on by Hodgman. Too slow as the ball finally comes back there to Green. He's tackled. Was it in the back? The umpire said no. And he'll ball it up about 30 metres out from the uh, North Melbourne goal. I thought there was a kick to each uh, side there. That was pretty ferocious football on both sides part that time. So it'll be a ball up or a throw up about 30 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Pushed out by McCann. Back it comes to Hodgman. Grabbed again. Not moving away from the packs too well. We see uh, Shimob was grabbed and the ball is finally over the uh, line and uh, out of bounds. Well, it certainly gives the fella sitting on the play with the ball now because they can't move out of the mud. So the idea is to dwell on. Finally goes through the legs of about four players. Picked up by Ayers. Coming in to meet it now is Fury. Got under that one. Couldn't hold the mark. Goes for Tries to get it. He got it out too. A good bit of play to Phil Cracker. Finally, the ball is pushed over by Atkins. And Hodgman going for a long kick up there. What the goals. He's got it. That's a beautiful goal by Hodgman. A great goal. And well, now we see North Melbourne. Uh, three goals, four, 22. To Hawthorne, still yet to score a goal, three points. Ten and a half minutes gone of this second quarter. Well, North Melbourne, the only side that looked like scoring goals at the moment, and this was the best forward move of the day. Great play on the part of Fury that time, Peter. Yes, he's been a very good player for North Melbourne. What he has done, I've been very impressed with, and that was a gem of a goal. Hodgman just coming on. North Melbourne doing nothing wrong, really, at the moment. 11 minutes gone, second quarter. North doing it easily in the second semi, going for a place in the grand final. Bacanara. Matthews has had one kick, he won't get one here. Tuck, almost caught, back to Matthews, the handball from Lee over towards Loveridge. High to fall forward, Knights is there on his own and misses the mark, McCarthy goes. So Hawthorne's first goal coming up at the 11 minute mark of the second quarter. 3-4, 22 to 1-3-9. Knights uh, looked back at the umpire there in disgust, I think he thought the umpire should have paid that mark. So we'll have a look at it again. Knight's coming in now. No, taken away from him, luckily for Hawthorne, by McCarthy and an easy goal. Interestingly, Lou, the two players that have kicked the last two goals have just come on as interchange players. No, definitely not a mark. Certainly wasn't. Hodgman for North Melbourne, and then, of course, Michael McCarthy for Hawthorne. He replaced Ken Judge. 